This whole grounds was for not just physical health care, but holistic health care. And so having a chapel here, they understood it's really important to be able to practice their faith while they're living here. Anything from funerals to baptisms to weddings. Um, and it really brought in the community, which was what made it really special. The chapel has been completely vacant since 1996. The last services were held in 1989. So there is currently no plans for it, but the Preservation Alliance is working closely with the VA and the State Historic Preservation Office to determine what's feasible. Our main goal is to give it a use that would be beneficial to the community, especially veterans. Of course, the most important part here is to serve the veterans that will be living on the Soldiers' Home property. This is a unique building in terms of churches in Milwaukee because it's all wood. All of the stained glass windows have dedicatory inserts in the bottom. They basically honor folks who served in different factions or uh, companies from Wisconsin. So there's some from Kenosha, Beloit, Green Bay, as well as Milwaukee. It's structurally sound despite its age, which is a testament to the people who built it. And so it's really incumbent upon us to find a new use for the building in order to honor its history. One of the biggest challenges for any historic preservation project is awareness. Educating people about what it is, why it matters, and then determining what uh, the community and what veterans need so that we can restore it for the service of veterans. It is exhilarating to think about all the different opportunities and the people that can experience this building for the very first time. That's the really exciting part here is that there are new stories to tell. It's really exciting to think about another really key building in this historic district to be repurposed for veterans. It has so much potential. We're really excited to think about what could be.